Decades after stealing hearts as the iconic character Beaver Cleaver, former child star Jerry Mathers is almost unrecognizable today. His incredible weight loss journey proved as dramatic as any Hollywood script. Once tipping scales over 240 pounds while battling diabetes, Mathers managed to drop nearly 60 pounds and reverse his health crisis. Join Facts First as we take a closer look at the man behind one of television's most beloved characters. Early Success Long before Jerry Mathers unveiled his astounding weight loss, he first captured the hearts of America as the quintessential picture of innocence on the classic sitcom Leave It to Beaver. When the show premiered in 1957, Mathers was only eight years old. Yet the young boy from Sioux City, Iowa, shined as Theodore Beaver Cleaver. His charm and natural talent earned him the iconic role out of thousands of child actors vying for it. In many ways, Beaver represented the idyllic version of suburban American childhood during the late 50s. The show followed the hilarious misadventures of the Cleaver family, with Beaver constantly finding himself in and out of boyish trouble. Yet what made the show so relatable and endearing was its fundamental warmth. Underneath the humor, Leave It to Beaver ultimately centered around timeless coming-of-age themes in childhood wonder, family, and universal life lessons. Much of the show's nostalgic stickiness stems from Mathers' memorable performance. With his freckled cheeks and cleft chin, he embodied the essence of boyhood. And America watched him grow up on screen, relating to the character's curiosity of the world. For six seasons, spanning more than 230 episodes, Mathers inhabited Beaver so naturally he became synonymous with the role. While Leave It to Beaver lives eternally in reruns, Mathers faced a far less smooth path after leaving his childhood stardom behind. Like many child stars, he struggled to find his footing in the entertainment industry once his Beaver days ended. Yet with that show's timeless legacy, Mathers remains proudly entwined with the cultural fabric of American TV history. For generations of fans, he will always be remembered as the icon Beaver Cleaver. Struggles after the show and health scare like many child stars, Jerry found the spotlight's glare fade rapidly after his Leave It to Beaver days ended. Though the show stayed popular in endless syndication, Mathers struggled to find that same level of success himself. Roles proved scarce for the former child actor, as he realized life after Beaver would never reach the same meteoric career heights. After high school, he enlisted in the Air Force Reserve while attending college. He eventually graduated with a philosophy degree, proving his intelligence and determination reached farther than his child star wattage, but acting remained his passion. He built out his career performing in theatrical stage productions. Seeking financial stability, he also dabbled in banking, real estate, and founded a catering company. Ironically, that same company led him down a detrimental path regarding his health. Surrounded constantly by decadent cuisine, Mathers developed unhealthy eating habits. His weight ballooned, tipping scales over 240 pounds at his heaviest. Then, in 1996, a shocking diagnosis changed his life forever. Doctors discovered he had type 2 diabetes, as well as high blood pressure and cholesterol. At only 47, he was given a harsh prognosis that he had only 3 to 5 more years to live if he didn't drastically improve his health. He committed to profound lifestyle changes without hesitation. He knew shedding pounds was paramount for any chance of survival. Incredibly, he managed to lose over 50 pounds solely by improving his diet and incorporating daily walking exercise. Just barely over the three-year death sentence his doctors predicted, he successfully reversed his diabetes. His second chance at life afforded revelations about how fragile but also resilient the human body is. Committing to his weight loss transformation Mathers overhauled his relationship with food. Out went unhealthy, indulgent meals, replaced by strict, nutritious choices, high in vegetables and lean proteins. Simple adjustments like avoiding excess sugars, controlling portion sizes, and staying hydrated added up to fuel his body better. He also had to curb emotional attachments to food, developed through years running a catering business. Essentially, he retrained himself to see meals as sustenance rather than recreation. In tandem with his diet, he also adopted his fitness regimen. He started small with a daily walking goal, 
Gradually, he increased his mileage while monitoring blood sugar levels. Once walking proved beneficial, he added in strength training too. Mixing cardio and resistance exercise accelerated shedding pounds while building energy and metabolism. Remarkably, after 18 months, he successfully dropped almost 60 pounds. By 1999, he tipped scales under 190 pounds, completely transforming decades of poor health decisions. He quite literally rescued himself from the brink through exercise and nutrition alone. His incredible results soon grabbed attention from the weight loss industry. The iconic Jenny Craig program signed Mathers as their first male celebrity spokesperson in 1997. Given a mainstream platform, he embraced publicly sharing his weight loss story to educate others. He represented living proof that taking control of health outcomes remains possible at any age. Educating Others Mathers devoted himself towards educating the public about diabetes. Now entering his eighth decade of life thanks to radical health changes, he tours speaking on proper prevention and management of the disease. He mainly focuses presentations towards fans who grew up watching him on Leave it to Beaver. Using that nostalgic connection, first formed through television decades ago, he urges critical groups at higher risks to get tested and to monitor conditions before reaching a crisis point like he did. During his lectures across the country, Mathers blends credible medical perspectives with insight drawn from his own struggles. He details the sobering statistics of diabetes ballooning into an epidemic globally, including skyrocketing obesity rates tied to poor nutrition among youth. Referencing his unhealthy catering business days, he stresses the vital urgency of addressing weight and blood sugar levels early through balanced diets. Otherwise, the compound dangers of diabetes, heart disease, and associated health complications multiply quickly. He recounts, frankly, his ignorance, believing robust health accompanied childhood celebrity, or how symptoms can discreetly indicate presence of diabetes for years before a diagnosis. He also explains the emotional and physical challenges that come with adapting to strict lifestyle changes, his candid and conversational tone relaying very human vulnerability and steep learning curves makes audiences comfortable assessing their own health more critically. While Mathers devotes significant energy spreading diabetes awareness, he also makes time for creative passions too. He accepts occasional acting roles, now approaching them with revived enthusiasm and perspective. In 2007, he even starred in a successful Broadway production of Hairspray. Critics praised the performance, marveling that within his former child star, the spirit of sweet optimistic youth endures. He also stays active, leading Q&A forums, sharing Leave it to Beaver memories. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you grow up watching Leave it to Beaver? What's your favorite memory of the show? Let us know in the comments section below.